In this video, I wanna share with you my whole A to Z design creation process from research to designing to actually uploading onto Merch On Demand. Hello everyone, my name is Mike. I'm a full-time print on demand seller. I make YouTube videos showing you how to make more money on Merch On Demand and Etsy. If you like this kind of content, you get any value out of this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, click the bell and like the video. Now, before I share with you my A to Z process, just wanna do a quick sales update for Merch On Demand and for Etsy because uh, yesterday was actually a really good day. Had my best day of the month on merch. So I ended up doing 76 sales and $159 um, in royalties. And that is going to put me at 445 sales for the month and almost $1,000. And if we go ahead and take a look at my stats for Etsy, which has also been really good. So for the month, I'm at 3,248, which is um, down, but it's, it's calculating, you know, today's not over yet. You know, orders are actually up from last year, so that's good. And if we take a look and see what I did yesterday, $199 actually broke my streak of $200. So by, you know, just a couple cents, but the other day I had a really big day, 512. And today, I mean, it's right now it's, um, you know, 6.14 a.m. in the morning, already at $87. So that is looking pretty good. And if you want to follow me on Instagram where I post my uh, daily sales for both merch on demand and etsy the link is in the description i've also turned my instagram into like a personal brand account where i'm documenting my journey on making 10k a month with print on demand so if you want to follow me you can watch this pin video right here it kind of talks a little bit about it uh, but now let's go ahead and get into the content of the video all right, so the first step in the A to Z process is actually doing the research and finding something to design for. And a lot of people ask me, have been asking me this as of late, like how do I do my research? And I use Merch Dominator. Um, in my opinion, it's by far the best research tool for Merch On Demand or for just Print On Demand in general. If you want, I have an affiliate link in the description, you can check it out. But my research process is actually very simple. I just go to Merch Dominator, I click on best sellers, and I sort it by, by default, it will go to BSR. So I just change it to newest. And then I just leave this blank right here and hit search. That's basically it. And then what I do here is I just kind of scroll and I'm just looking for something that kind of catches my eye, maybe some duplicates, some repetition. Um, and what I found when I scroll down here was this one right, where is it? This one right here, the trash panda, because I saw this in the news the other day um, and it's an animal niche. And I know I can scale this out because if you go to my school community, where is school? It's somewhere here. I actually have this, whoops, get rid of that. Um, I actually have this, where is it? So right here, 30 proven animal phrases for merchants of success. Like if you're part of my school community, I have this whole classroom section with like a whole bunch of information. And I have these uh, word files, 30 proven animal phrases, 30 proven food pr phrases and 25 proven career phrases. And basically, you know, I just look for niches where I can scale them out to different phrases. And then I like to add something in. So like right here, trash panda is my spirit animal. I think I'm gonna go with trash panda whisperer. I think that could work. A lot of times I'm just putting the word like whisper or squad after uh, a niche. And for some reason it tends to sell well. You can also do like king or queen, but I think trash panda whisper is kind of funny. It makes sense. So what I like to do here is basically just take a screenshot. So I'll go screenshot like this, and then I will jump on over to um, Edogram and start that design uh, process. All right, so here we are on Edogram, and Edogram for me is by far my favorite uh, place to design. I know a lot of people like Kittle, but for some reason I didn't really like Kittle when I used it. Maybe I was doing something wrong, but um, I'm a big fan of Edogram. And if you want, you can actually sign up for Edogram. I have an affiliate link in my description if you're looking for a good design uh, tool. So what I like to do here is I like to just come into Edogram and this upload image right here, I'll click on that button and I'll actually just go ahead and find my... Oh, I got a sale. Just heard the kitchen sound. And so I'll click on that screenshot and, and I'll hit describe. And this is one of the reasons why I like Edogram so much is because of this describe feature right here. And what it'll do is basically going to describe the image. And what I want to do here now is actually just go ahead and take this because with my research uh, process, I like to switch out the uh, text and then I also like to add something in. All right, that's kind of like my process. Um, so let me go ahead and jump on over to ChatGPT here. And what I'm going to ask it to do is I'm going to ask ChatGPT to change this prompt to um, basically change the, the phrase. And then also I'm going to ask it to turn this into like a New Year's uh, design. Because I think if I were to take this right here and cross niche it with 
uh, New Year's, maybe like 2026 or something like that. I think that could work out. So let me go ahead and do that real quick. All right, so I went into ChatGPT and I just wrote change this t-shirt prompt to say Trash Panda Whisperer and also change the theme to a 2026 New Year's theme. And I'll just go ahead and just copy and paste that prompt and ChatGPT will give me a new prompt. And what I can do with this new prompt, once ChatGPT spits it out, I can copy and paste it and I can pop it back into Ideogram and we can see what kind of design they made for me. But usually Ideogram is pretty good. That's why I like it so much. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of that. Put in that new prompt. I like to do three by four design. Um, and then I have the magic prompt off and let's see what we get here. So here's what I came up with right here. But to be honest, I don't really like the whisperer part. I think I'm just gonna get rid of that. So I'm just gonna come in here, go like that. I think if I just do trash panda and cross niche with New Year's 2026, I think that will turn out good. I actually made a YouTube short about that, recommending that the other day. Let's just go ahead and see what we get here now. Okay, so here's what it came up with. And now what I wanna do is I just wanna pick the one that I think looks the best or maybe even remix it even farther. So that one, no. And basically so this is like a process of elimination. So that one doesn't really make sense. That could work, that could work. That could also work. I think this one is the best. Sometimes I'll even remix it one more time just to get more variations of the one that I like. But I think this looks good enough. Actually, let's just remix it and see if it comes out with anything better. Okay, so these are the new ones. I'm just seeing if there's something that I like a little bit more. That one looks pretty good. And a lot of times I actually just go with the original one, but I think that will, this one right here will work. So I actually decided to go with this one right here. And so what I want to do now, or my workflow at least, the way I like to do is once I find the one that I like, I like to upscale it. So I'll just go upscale like this, wait for that to load. And while it's doing that, I'm going to pull up a, another upscale website. Now I do pay for this one. Um, I think I pay like 10 or 20 bucks a month. But once it's done doing its thing with uh, Ideogram, basically I will just click on it once it gets to completion or completed. Click on that and then just click on download. And then once it's downloaded, I'm going to go back to uh, Upscale Media, hit Upload Image, and then just go ahead and find that file. And it will go ahead and do its thing. Okay, so now it has upscaled. And once it's upscaled, I will just go ahead and click Download Image. And once the image is downloaded, then I will pop it into Photoshop. So let's go ahead and do that now. All right, so let me go ahead and pull up Photoshop. So here we are in Photoshop and the way I like to start is just open up <clears throat> a new Canva and we'll go 4,500 by 5,400 and just hit create. And then I'll go ahead and get rid of the black background like this. And I'll just go ahead and find the upscaled image, which is in my downloads. So this one right here, boom. And then the way that I like to get rid of the background, I used to have to delete it manually and it took a long time, but I found this new way. So just hit uh, control, uh, click, uh, yeah, control and click on it right here and then just find blending options. And then what I like to do here is this current layer. I'll just slide it down like this and it just gets rid of the background. If you go all the way, it'll start to get rid of too much. So you don't wanna go too much, but usually I just go like to right around there, hit okay. And let's see what it looks like. I guess that looks pretty good. Sometimes I'll come in here and I'll just go ahead and like, maybe if the colors, it, this usually happens with like other colors, not with black, um, like the letters, there'll be like some blotches basically in it. So sometimes I'll just go ahead and change the color to black. And then I'll hit the paint bucket tool and I'll just kind of just make sure that everything looks kind of nice. Just kind of click on these colors just to make sure that there's no blotches, but it doesn't really happen too much with black. It's more with like oranges and pinks and reds and stuff like that but just kind of just showing you my process. All right, and then once I've done that, I wanna scale it. So I wanna make it nice and big like this. Okay, so that looks good. And then we'll just go ahead and save it. So we're gonna call this Trash Panda. Trash Panda right there. Let's just go with 2026. Okay, and then the next step is going to be actually upload uploading it to, um, to Merch. All right, so here we are on my Merch On Demand account, and I just like to click on Create and then go to 
drag and drop artwork here. So we'll click on that big arrow and then we'll just find the design. So Trash Panda 2026. And I like to use this extension called Merch Informer Lister, where you can basically set up these profiles or templates. So all I have to do is just basically just hit a hotkey, so Option W. And basically what it'll do is it will select all the colors for me and it'll select the prices because I don't have to go in manually and do this. It just takes too much time. So basically wait for that to finish. I only do clothing. I rarely ever upload onto PopSockets or any of the other uh, products such as me. Um, and then what I will do, since this is a um, black text, so it's going to be on a white background, I'll just come in here and I'll just go ahead and select the white just so that is the, the thumbnail. And I'll do that for these uh, ones right here where I'll just find the lightest color. So white, so gray. And then for this one's also going to be gray too probably. So just something like that. And then just kind of take a double check. Okay, that looks good. Nice and big. You want to have it nice and large. You want to think like a billboard, like when you're driving on the highway. You don't want this small. You want to really make it stand out and pop. And then what I will do here is I will actually get ready to do my keywords. So for my keywords, I like to use my um, GPT that I created on my school community. So I'll just go to my school, go to the classroom and scroll down here and find the merch keyword lister. Basically with this uh, GPT, all I have to do is just pop in the, um, where the heck is it? Is it this one? I think they both are the same. All I have to do is just take a screenshot or upload my design and it will basically do the rest. So I'm just going to go add photo and I'm going to go ahead and find that design and I'm just going to go, you know, t-shirt. And it will go ahead and create a title, brand title, um, does everything, and it actually gives you options. So I can actually pick from the one that I want. So I'm just going to go with Trash uh, Panda New Year's. I think that one works pretty good. And let's go back to the title right here. Let's go ahead and find a brand name. Now, you don't want your brand name the same as the title, but Midnight Critter Vibes. I don't really like the co part, so I'm just going to go like that. And we'll pop it into the brand and then let's go back here and let's see what it came up with. So bullet point celebrate 2026 in that chaotic style with this hilarious raccoon design. Okay. So that looks good. Go ahead and just copy and paste. This just makes it really easy to do your keywords and it knows not to use, um, you know, anything that's trademarked. I mean, it's not perfect. It can't make mistakes, but like nine out of 10 times, it doesn't use anything that's trademarked. Um, and, I, and it's a uh, program or the way that I designed it is to use a lot of good keywords. So we're going to see here, like in these bullet points, there's a lot of keywords. It's like meme right here. What else do we have? Um, cartoon style. And usually the description right here is loaded. Like look at that, three paragraphs of keywords. So that's really good. So go like that. Boom, okay, so now we got um, a good description. When this happens, you just have to hit this button a bunch of times. Okay, so now we got our um, our keywords. And what I like to do here, just to check for trademarks, I use another extension. I think this is Productor. Um, I'm not too sure, but I have this uh, trademark uh, extension right here where I can just click on it. And what I'll do is I'll run through all these keywords. And basically, I will see, so Trash Panda. Now, remember, we're doing Trash Panda, so we want to switch that up. You can do is you can click on it to see if it's even in the 25 category. So trash pandas and pop sockets. So don't, you know, that will get you a rejection for pop sockets. That's why I don't really upload to pop sockets. So this actually, I won't even really have to change this because I'm use, not using, I'm not uploading to pop sockets, but let's just change it anyway because I don't really like having any red when I do it. So I'll go like that and let's go find it here. Where is it? And then usually there's a couple in the description. So party animal. So basically what you want to do is you want to just go through here again, party animal. It's in the zero zero nine. So it doesn't really matter. Night in. What is this? Night in again. Pop sockets. So I don't really care. The wild. I just want ones that are for uh, 2020 or zero twenty five. So again, here we got another pop socket one. So it looks like a lot of pop socket ones are popping up. Show up. What's this one? show up again another pop socket one is there actually one that's going to be in the 025 so capture the night i don't even see that one where was that one capture the spirit okay so these are in the uh, pillow and tumbler so so far so good and then party vibe where's party vibe party vibe right here again in tumblr okay so these all look um these none of these um red Words right here are in the 025 in the t-shirt uh, category class. So I don't have to worry about that, but I will just do it one more time. Take a quick sip of coffee. 
and we should be good to go. Okay, so after I've done that, then I'll just go ahead and hit publish. Now this is, uh, it's kind of an alcohol design, so I probably, you know, I wouldn't do youth. I would just do men and women, but that is basically my A to Z process of how I do the research, um, how I design it, how I upscale it, how I upload it onto Merch on Demand and get my keywords. You see, this is actually a pretty good design. You know, I'm just not a straight up copy. I just kind of use Merch Dominator to get like inspiration. And then I kind of put my own twist on it. It's usually use my own experience since I've been on Merch on Demand for <clears throat> eight years now. <clears throat> Excuse me. You know, I just kind of have a <clears throat> an idea on how I can like, you know, cross knee, switch out a couple of things, add something in, you know, and get some good sales. Um, yeah, so that is basically it. That's my A to Z process. Let me know what you think. And if you're looking for um, a community so you don't feel like you're on this print-on-demand journey alone, you might want to consider joining my school community. We've got a lot of uh, good uh, merch-on-demand sellers here uh, giving you a lot of support. And you also get prompts and niches every day. I don't take any days off for both Merch On Demand and for Etsy. So if you're interested, check it out. It's only 24 bucks a month. If not, it's all good. I will continue making free content here on YouTube for you. So make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Adios.